yeah, but pretty accurately. <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> second, 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 second person. These are real honest to goodness cases when we were backgrounding jury members or jury pool people. Subscribe it to the Village Voice. Boo. Subscribe it to the Village Voice, High Times Magazine, Cat Fans here. Purchase Chomsky's latest book. He's registered, this is a real guy, registered with the Green Party, contributed to United Jewish Appeal, Gay Men's Health Crisis, and American Friends of Peace Now. This guy is a very left wing, pot smoking, Jewish homosexual. Now, as I always tell people, and some of you have heard this before, I always tell people, we know he's gay, not because of the gay men's health crisis, but because he's a guy who lives alone with a cat. <laughs> Here is the updated version. And this is for real. It really is this easy. We did this to Rick. And you're going to see that very quickly. Well, some of this refers to you. The part, not the gay part. I, I won't tell anybody. Okay, he downloads podcasts from Air America. He reads daily costs, online search of voter registration records, which we even have in our office, determines, determines that he's a, a registered Democrat, who he contributes to, his Amazon.com purchases. He subscribes to a gay travel blog. Yeah, there's really such a thing. Yeah, once. Yeah, but there's nothing, you know. What's wrong with that? What's, what's the Seinfeld line? That oh, doesn't matter. Yeah, not that there's anything wrong with that. And, and, he, and he's checked out the website Catster. Now, by the way, sadly, that's a real website. <laughs> Looking at that browsing history and viewing history and subscribing history, how hard is it to figure out what Rick, I mean, what our, you know, unknown person are? It is possible. Now, here's where it gets spooky. This is something I would like to spend three hours on by itself, because this is one of the coolest, most interesting privacy invading technologies out there and one of the greatest things for investigators. It is possible to extrapolate out from two widely, widely divergent pieces of information to something you would never imagine. Here's an example. The first one, you know, the Germans are great at you know, we must know about this man. When they started remarketing, sorry, Chaos Computer Club people, if you're an American, especially if you're a Jewish American, you've got to do that joke. So, but this is a true story. When Volkswagen reintroduced the Beetle about, I think it was 12 years ago, 14 years ago, they were trying to figure out who might own a Beetle. And the, the space between the original Beatles and the reintroduction of the new Beatles was so distant that they were having a hard time finding, you know, old registration records. All of the normal marketing things were proving to be difficult. You can't walk down the street, you know, want to buy a car, want to buy a car? They needed to figure it out. And somehow, again, German technology, they figured out if you own a cat and you eat chunky peanut butter, you are three times as likely to buy a Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, God bless them. How they would have even thought to combine these things or look at this, nobody knows. I, actually, I do know what they did was the people who bought the Beetles, the, the Volkswagen Beetles, they gave them proctology exams. Please fill out this 900-page questionnaire. Would you, would you do that for us? And they found certain characteristics. And once they identified those common characteristics or those more prevalent characteristics, they started match marketing to people who match those characteristics. And by the way, this is good business, good capitalism. I see nothing wrong with it, but it's scary. Who does this more than anybody? Political candidates. It started with Karl Rove, who had something called Roveology. Rove figured out, for example, if you drink bourbon, you are disproportionately more likely to vote Republican.